Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Lance. I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a defense on our No Mission Gen 1 and some explained PvP. So if you enjoy, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes and let's get right into it. Stupid. Niggas be broke like the fuck is you doing? Ah shit. Here we go again. Oh, I picked him. Huh? A few moments later. What the fuck? Damn, that's fucked. Bro, shut up. It's laggy, bro. Like, there's nothing I could do. I don't see you out here doing shit, bro, so shut the fuck up. So at this point, I started getting a little bored of the PvP, so I decided to make a racer box and start trying to drop some of their turrets. Right now I'm just trying to figure out an angle where I can position the box so I don't get shot from under the walls. Could I get some help? Yeah, I'm racer bombing their shit right now. I'm getting absolutely abused. How does a snow owl have more knockback than a fucking beast?
No, it's too good to be true. GG's question mark, question mark. You're just a more skilled gamer. Can you guys uh, tech build their Giga or get it low so I can racer bomb again? Oh, I should have brought a club with me in case these motherfuckers want to try to hop in my box. I already got a guy in my fucking box, bro. Or not in my box, but he's trying to flame my box. So at this point, I already have a guy trying to get inside the box to kill me, and I'm waiting for someone to try to kill him, and the guy on the bat wasn't doing a very good job. So I'm debating at this point whether to try to jump off the bottom and bomb the turrets that are right below me, or if I should go along the side of the bubble and see if I can get some of the double door frames holding up the turrets. He's on my shit now. Can you get him out? Can you kill this guy or no? He's inside my box. Oh, I don't even have a cutter, bro. Gee fucking jeez, bro. I'm fucking done. You guys can handle this fog, bro. Wrong. While we wipe this fob, I just want to quickly say sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been super busy IRL and with work, it's been really hard to play as much as I used to to get content out for you guys. I do appreciate all the support and I do have a few videos lined up for you guys, so be on the lookout for those. But with that being said, let's just get right back into the video. One HP. I think I might have downed it. Yeah, Jenny's down. Battery turrets, battery turrets. Soak them. So just a little context before this clip starts. I'm trying to get tribed up with one of my friends, but this man in a bloodstalker had been chasing me. So I pulled up and we had to PvP without even being tribed. So my main goal was just to try to net all of them so that way he could lightning beam them and it would be easy kills. But I netted this guy and he had got netted on his wyvern or he didn't want to get netted. So he hopped off and started flame fighting him. I didn't want to accidentally kill my friend so I disengaged and then he chased him down. So after we killed those two people and got tribed up, another bloodstalker guy tried to come and fight us and he's in the water. So ideally it's not the best situation to fight a bloodstalker in, but I let it pick me so I could net it. As soon as I did, I started rifling it so that way I could kill it, but my friend said to double jump out of the water and he could lightning beam and we ended up killing them both that way. For this clip, I had set up a sneaky bat trap right in between both the spam of the guys fobbing and the spam that they had cleared of the people that lived in the Carno Cave. So I put it right in between those rocks where no one would really find it. And when I seen that bat guy, I just swooped in and picked him. I seen a guy running on the ground, so I went and swooped in to pick him with my bat. And in this situation, you gotta know when to pull out the whip and try to whip their whip and when to flame. Right now, I seen he had a harpoon gun out, so I went for the flamethrower because I know it's super hard to hit a harpoon net on a bat whenever it's doing circles. If I had been close to turrets, I probably would have went for the whip first because that's like a guaranteed kill. and. A lot of times whenever you do go for the whip, they end up whipping you before you can whip out anyways. Like right now, I even pulled out the whip first, but he still somehow whipped me out. So with the whip, when it works, it works really well, but when it doesn't, it still gives you a chance to flame them while you guys are falling to the ground. But definitely pulling out the flamethrower first will be way more consistent. You just gotta know when to use it and when it's most ideal.
This clip is simple, but it shows how effective it is having good communication and just playing close to each other when in PvP. I seen a shadow man coming towards me, so I called it out. He ended up netting me, but he got stuck inside my bat. I think when I picked him, it also like netted the bat at the same time, so he got stuck. I ended up picking him, and I could have killed him, but my friend said he was right behind me on the lightning wyvern, and I knew that would be way easier to kill him with, so I just dropped him and let the lightning wyvern do the rest. For this clip, these guys had netted my desmo and popped a gig on it, but we noticed the person on the gig had a suit so we have a lightning wyvern right above him we both popped gigs on the front and back of him so that way even if he is imprinted the odds of him getting raged are super likely and it's gonna have to force him to double jump off the giga once he does we have a lightning wyvern ready to be able to beam him and get the kid that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i got a new video coming out tomorrow stay tuned for that we're gonna be bullying a gen 2 tribe so turn on post notifications so you don't miss out and i'll see you in the next one I'm